it's time for seafood. And we'll visit Chicago's finest seafood wholesaler, Plitt Seafood, at their annual trade-only event. Well, you know, it's getting to be springtime, and we're here. We're in the coolers of Plitt Seafood. And we've got Sean O'Scanlan here, the president. And tell me what you're doing today. Well, we're having an open house, uh, inviting all of our customers in to uh, tour our facilities. And we've got about 35 of our vendors who have set up tables, and they're displaying their wares and sampling products. And everybody's getting a chance to put a name with a face and see some of our vendors. It's just a great day. Great now, day. the public can't come here to shop. No, absolutely. It's just, it's just for our customers, uh, generally white tablecloth restaurants, private clubs, hotels. Uh, upscale markets, that kind of thing. Uh, we've got uh, two tall Chuck Weber here from Riva, and uh, Hi, that, Dave. <laughs> how are you doing, man? <laughs> tell, tell me, why, how do you decide to buy fish at a place like this? Well, these guys have a good reputation. You know, they're selling a lot of fish and shellfish, so everything is is fresh. They're turning their inventory over every day. They're bringing in stuff every day, six, seven days a week. So, I mean, as a restaurant tour and, and chef myself. We, we have a lot of confidence in their product. We, we, um, we likewise buy small quantities, sell it every day, so we're just getting in fresh stuff every day. So it's kind of a service thing and the quality. Absolutely, and they're a great service issue too. I mean, they, being right downtown, especially convenient for us, we can get deliveries two, three times a day. And oh, really? This is Charles Weber from Riva Restaurant. Good to see you, man. Good to see you again, Dave. Well, I just found something very special. Uh, we've got Mike Lieberman here from Olive Oil Seafood. And tell me what this is. I'm just going to eat. You describe okay. it. This is so good. This is smoked Norwegian salmon. It's cured with grappa and Italian truffles. This one's Moroccan. This okay. is a Moroccan right. here. It's made with 13 different spices. Cool. It's like Colonel Sanders? It's like Colonel. It's the Colonel, but we can't tell you. All right. There else we have. Oh. Isn't that delicious? Now, we can come to Plitz Seafood and get anything you want. Just like this? Just like this. Okay, and this is Olive Oil Seafood, and uh, well, you know, if you want it, you come here to Plitz Seafood. That's right. all I can say. Thanks, Thank man. you very much. That was great. Thank you. Well, let me tell you, if you think it's romantic being a fisherman, me, me too, the most romantic people I know. This is Tammy and David, and they're with uh, Plitt, Alaska. And tell me what it's like being out on one of those boats. Well, we've been together for many years now, and we haven't killed each other yet, so there must be a little romance on the ocean. Okay. Now, the boats go out there. It's pretty darn cold there, isn't it? It can be pretty tough weather. We end up wearing our long johns uh, every month of the year. So you folks up there in Alaska, Plitt, Alaska, bring fish that you've just caught in the North Pacific Ocean, and you fly it in. How long does it take to get it from when You've caught it in the water till it gets to Chicago. Well, a lot of, we've had fish come off our boat in the morning on an airplane that afternoon and in Chicago the next morning, within 24 hours. So that night, I'm eating it at my dinner table in a restaurant. That's right. You can do that. How'd you become a fisherman? I was in college, got done with it, got on a boat as a fluke, and within a week realized that I was hooked. That was 20 years ago. Never stopped. Still love it. Can't wait till the season opens March 15th. We're here with my buddy, Carolyn Collins, from none other than... Carolyn Collins Caviar Company. And actually, I'm gonna walk over here because I know what this is. This is uh, from True, a, a restaurant that's met with some extreme level of success. And this is their Caviar Staircase. And Featuring Collins Caviars. There, there you go, okay. <laughs> and tell me what we've got here, Carolyn. Well, the thing that we're most proud of at the moment is our fabulous trout. Yes. This is caviar. We say it's a caviar that has everything. It has a firm berry that bursts in your mouth. It's a beautiful color. It's got a great texture, but it's very mild in flavor. You can put it with any dish you want. It won't compete with the if, recipe. If people want to buy caviar from Carolyn Collins and they're not a restaurant, they're just an individual who's having a party, they have to call you because you don't let walk-ins come in. They'd never find us. We're like a speakeasy up at the top of a loft. So of what's a... your phone number, Carolyn? 312-226-0342. This is Mike Cornick, my poster boy. And uh, talk to me about fish. Is it like a big part of your business? Huge. 
Fish is the most difficult thing to purchase on a day in day out basis from uh, a restaurant point of view because of its short shelf life, which is great, much greater than most people think. What do you What do you do with fish? I mean, you just got to get rid of it when it's bad. You can't sell it you in know, a restaurant. It, it, it's like relatives, you know. After two days, you got to throw them out. <laughs> Mike Cornick, eight sixty eight North Franklin. Franklin. Oh. <laughs> Blitz Seafood has the finest collection of customers in the city of Chicago. They just the freshest fish. And as I've been walking around, I've been really impressed. Um, I just looked at some of the salmon. Why don't you show me what's a, a sample of what you got of it? We'll go right. and just walk right. together. Tell me what we've got here. Okay, we've got uh, a, a wide variety of whole fish that we've flown in from all over the world. This is something we might generally uh, uh, fillet out for our customers, but it's great for them to see the product in its whole form. We've also got a, a, a lot of custom smoke products that we've smoked here ourselves. We just built a new hot smoker. This is a whole cod. Uh, most of the time people just see the fillet. But it, it's a rather large fish that you don't think about. Uh, mahi mahi uh, as well. You've got your parrot fish. You know, okay, pull up, pull yeah. up that parrot fish, will you please? Now take a look, this gorgeous fish, isn't it? Absolutely. How about Colorful, this? great tasting. Is this a rainbow uh, fish right here? Right. Um, pull this one out for me, will you? Stripe snapper, here. Stripe, yellow striped snapper. Stripe yellow striped snapper, I'm being told here. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. Um, we're here again with Sean, who could never get him off the camera, and, and Paul Katz uh, from McCormick and Schmicks. And they do something that I've never heard of it before. They change their menu twice a day. So I'm going to let Paul, uh, he's going to go pick out a fish, and we're going to go cook it back at his restaurant, and then you're going to have somebody fillet it? Absolutely. Right on the spot. Tell me how it works. I mean, when you change your menu daily, obviously fish is seasonal, so it really doesn't change that much. How do you interact with these guys? Uh, we, make, we make sure that uh, they're communicating with us as much as possible. Pricing of fish, quality of fish, what's available, what's not, what's in season, what's not. Um, usually when you're, you're fishing for tuna, usually there's an incidental catch that comes out with that. We want to know what that fish is. That way we can make uh, decisions whether or not we want to bring that in and, and do something with it. All right. So uh, it's very important to have that communication day to day, week to week. Okay. I'm going to let you guys uh, go fishing. Okay. All right. Sounds Great. good. Uh, well, we're, we, we now are really in the coldest place in town. <laughs> it's colder we're, in here than it is outside. Yeah. Um, and that's Louie over there who's pulling up, uh, what is that? Wild striped bass. Okay, so we're going to take a wild striped bass and he's pulling it right out from the bottom for you. And uh, about how much does that fish weigh? Six, what? seven pounds. Okay, so we got it. And you're going to fillet that. And uh, how many pieces will you get out of that? Uh, with the right cutting, we'll probably get about five or six. Louis is going to fillet this right now and we're going to go and cook it uh, right over its uh, McCormick and Schmick. So go ahead, Louis. Uh, Louis just finished trimming the fish, and uh, we're, we're here back with Paul. We're gonna, by the way, did that pretty record time, didn't he? Oh, that was amazing. Okay, just like you, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna run over McCormick and Schmicks for their afternoon menu change, and this is gonna be other. So we'll see you over McCormick and Schmicks. Bye bye. Bye.